Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at multicam clips in Final Cut Pro. And multicam clips are great for anything like interviews or anything where you've got more than one camera angle or more than one audio source. Um, and so today we've got the example um, of my friend Chris. Um, we were doing an interview a couple of months ago. Um, and so we've got one headshot, one slightly wider shot, and then a audio source clip. Um, and this is recorded on a little Tascam DR40, uh, a great little field recorder. Um, and so to, to create the multicam clip, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all those clips. I'm going to right click and I go new multicam clip. And that's going to bring up this little pop-up window here. And I'm going to call this Chris interview. Uh, and then I'm going to make sure that the use audio for synchronization box is ticked. And then I'm going to click OK. And normally that's pretty fast. Um, sometimes it can take ages, um, but it looks like today we're in luck. Um, and it's just brought it up down here, Chris interview, double click on that. And we've got it here in the project window. So this is how it looks. Um, we've got individual layers almost uh, for each clip. Um, if you did have more than one uh, clip for each angle, then it would bring it up hopefully in the same layer. Uh, just further on down in the timeline um, and so if I play it's um, if you see here the the um, window box is ticked for this one here and also the sound box so I know I'm getting the video and the audio from this clip here if I want to change to the audio down here I click this one on and click this one off here and so now I'm getting the visuals from the top layer here and the audio from the bottom, which is what I want um, from the start. It is worth saying, however, that these uh, icons being ticked here aren't actually going to change the um, the settings for when you bring your clip into the, the project window. Um, they're only here for kind of reference. Um, but whilst we've got this window open, it's probably worth saying that it's great to make changes to the individual clips, so color correcting, um, changing the, the sound, um, the gain level, all of that kind of stuff is great to do in here. Rather than doing individual clips in um, the project window, this is where you want to do your changes because they'll do it for the whole clip rather than each individual section. Okay, to change the initial settings for your clip, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on your clip uh, and then press Command Shift 7, which brings up this angle view here. Um, and so how you have all your angles here. Um, and you can change the settings to see two displays at once um, and then toggle between these two here um, or for me I'm going to go for four so I can see all three of my angles um, all at once um, and then you see with the with the hand displayed um, I can choose where I want my sound and where I want my visuals to start from um, so I want my visuals to be um, on this wide clip here um, and I want my sound um, to be on this bottom clip here. So I'm going to click on the sound wave um, and then click on this clip here and now my sound is set to the Tascam rather than to the Canon shot which is what I want. Um, okay, I think we're ready to open a new window so Command N to open uh, a new project. Uh, I'm going to call this um, Chris uh, Interview project um, and it all looks good to me I'm going to press OK and so we've got a blank window um, I'm going to select the bit I want so I'll go from about here looks good so I'm going to press my in there and then yeah that looks about, about right to me doing a nice little cough there so I'm just going to put that into the timeline and I'm going to do that by pressing E and there it is um, OK to make changes now and make cuts, uh, you can see that the, the the hand that has now changed to a blade now that I've got my um, clip in the timeline. Um, and say I wanted to start with the uh, close-up of Chris's head here, I'm going to switch back to my uh, visual setting here. So click on this, go off the sound, and I'm now controlling the visuals. And I'm going to click here. Um, alternatively, I can use numbers, so this being clip 1, this being clip 2, this being clip 3. Obviously, we won't want to use this for visuals because this will come up as blank. Um, so I'm going to start with 2, um, and I'm going to hit play, and I'm going to do it, some cutting in real time. So off we go. 
Sorry, um, one of the things we did was... And I'm going to go to clip one. Visit a and then I'm going to go back to clip two. Oh, sorry. And then back to clip yeah. one. Yeah, one of and I'll show you three, so which is a, a blank clip, obviously. And it was like young back to one, two. And, monks, so these and this is just a great way of being able to cut between um, different angles in real time, um, providing your computers up to, uh, to doing it. One more thing it is worth mentioning, um, if you want to go back into um, the Chris's interview, you can either click here or you can just double click onto the clip itself and it will bring up this window. Um, say I it, it brought the clips in in an order I wasn't, wasn't happy with and maybe the sound was up here. You can just move it, things around how you want to um, by using this toggle here um, and moving these to where you'd like them. You can also move, if the sync isn't quite right, you can adjust um, the the position of it just by clicking it and moving it around. Obviously, I don't want to do that because it looks good to me. And yeah, as I said before, this is a place where you want to make your changes such as color correction. So I just do that by pressing Command-6, which brings up this window here, and I can do whatever I want to the color, to the saturation, to the exposure, and that'll change it um, back when I go to the project window. That second shot now, you can see is slightly more greener. Okay, I think that's about it. If you've got any questions on this, please leave a comment below, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.